Saturday, the body will leave for Arua at 5 a.m. in the morning. And the body is expected to reach Arua at 5 p.m. in the evening at the Muni University graduation grounds. And thereafter, we shall immediately go into Requiem Mass at the Muni University um, graduation square. After that, the body will go home uh, at her home in Anyafio and spend the night there. On Sunday, there will be a requiem mass at a home in Anyafio at 3 p.m. In, in Anyafio. So 3 p.m. that mass will be for the Madi community, for the Arua larger community to participate in the uh, mass at home, the requiem mass at home in Harris residence at Anyafio. On Monday 4th, we shall have a two councils, one special council starting at 8 a.m. in the morning for the university, for the university council. It will start at 8 in the morning and ends at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock we shall have uh, the city council, special council, in uh, giving respect to her, starting at 10 o'clock, ending approximately at midday or thereafter. After the city council um, council, the body will leave for Christ the King Church uh, Requiem Mass, which is going to start at 1 p.m. And after the Requiem Mass uh, on Monday, the body then will leave for Moyo. On Tuesday at 11 a.m. in the morning, there will be a joint council in Moyo of all the districts of West Nile to pay their last respect to her and realize her. And then on Wednesday 6th at 10 o'clock, we shall start the burial mass and the final send-off. I think for now that is the official program for the burial. The tentative is out and I'm sure that will be the program that will guide the arrival of the body to Arua and also uh, its transition to Moyo for the final burial. As uh, we have been informed, the body will arrive here on Saturday. And uh, if we were to go by the means of transport, if it's come by road, we will expect the body here by 3 p.m. And uh, if we, the body is going to come by air, that means the body will arrive here earlier than uh, 3 p.m. But still, uh, what we expect is that uh, there will be a procession to receive the body. If it comes by road, people will line up from uh, Odia Nyad Road Junction and they escort the body up to Arua Town and then march with it to Muni University Campus where the body will lie in state and also late in the evening uh, uh, there will be a vigil. And, uh, the body going home first at Anyafio, uh, the late residence before it hits the road for Moyo. Then on Tuesday, we're expecting that uh, there will be a regional council meeting to pay tribute all the local governments in the West Nile region. As you are aware, uh, Muni University uh, was uh, envisioned as a regional university. It was advocated for by all the political leaders in West Nile, and therefore it is in order for the West Nile political leadership to pay their tribute and uh, Moyo district local government will be the one convening this regional council, special council meeting where we expect the political leadership to eulogize uh, the late professor and then uh, on Wednesday we will expect the body to be laid to rest. And therefore we call upon the public to honor professor in a, a humane manner, as we all know that she was a down-to-earth person. She was indeed a professor, indeed, and in conduct and character. And therefore, the manner in which we will uh, honor her should be very befitting and with a lot of discipline and respect. And therefore, uh, we call upon the entire uh, population of West Nile to uh, eulogize Professor and mourn her in dignity. May her soul rest in eternal peace. A lot of things will keep on ringing in our memories. Uh, that is why 
the leadership in place at Imoni took this barrier as a, a nation barrier and uh, they feel Professor Dranzoa is uh, uh, the family head for Muni University. So uh, you can even see during the meetings, they clearly indicated that uh, this is not Moyo or Madi issue. It is a national matter. Dranzoa Christine is the head teacher, head master of that university. So for that case, they are taking lead and other people should join arms and we appreciate that. When you see Mone University alone, you can't imagine that this is a young university. A university that has not lasted for even 15 years. You can see the progress of development in that university. The way they staff, the way the students came implies that uh, her leadership at the university is a collective uh, nature. So everybody is committed to see that uh, a befitting uh, send-off is organized for her.